Hello, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, your guide through the ARRL license manuals. The videos in this course follow the manuals section for section. You can get the ARRL license manuals from the source listed below the video. After you watch the video, dig into the corresponding section of the book, study the associated questions, and then come back for the next video. We need to work together as a group of hams, be cooperative with each other, and do the kinds of things that enable others as well as ourselves to enjoy the hobby, and that just means being a considered operator. Now before we talk about the specific band plans, and the two meter band plan is in the manual, what I want to show you are the general frequency allocations that are set aside for amateur radio operators by the FCC. And we'll go through those from 160 meters all the way up to about 10 centimeters. And then we'll look at what you as a technician can do. And then we'll take a look at the band plan real quickly. One additional thing we're going to talk about is the Considerate Operator's Frequency Guide. This, like band plans, is not law. The, the actual band allocations are, but the band plans are what HAMS have gotten together and decided amongst ourselves what kind of activities will go on what frequencies. Let's take a look. We're looking at the U.S. Amateur Radio Band Plan, which you can download from the ARRL website. There's a URL that's provided in the text that goes along uh, with the video for this lesson. As you can see, we are a bunch of uh, bands. These are the actual allocations that are provided for by the FCC, so it's very important that we pay attention to these. We're looking right now at the allocation given to the technician class license. It's all the VHF frequencies. Uh, six meters, which is a very interesting band. Uh, when it's closed, it's very closed. When it's open, you can talk to the world. Two meters is the one you'll use mostly. And you see the other bands uh, as they go on up there. You can operate it in these modes on these frequencies. Now, it should be noted that technician operators do have HF privileges. It's Morse code only on three of the bands, uh, which are 80, 40, and 15. But what's very interesting is the 10 meter band. Now that the sunspot cycle is coming around, the 10 meter band is opening up, and you can use voice on this band and digital on that. Now let's take a look uh, at the ARRL website and we're going to look at now what are called band plans. These are not um, mandatory by the FCC, but these are what hams have gotten together and have decided are good things to do. The two meter band plan is in your manual. And as you can see as we scroll through these, it shows all different kinds of activities and modes on certain frequencies. Here we just scroll through 2 meters, now 220, and now 70 centimeters, which is another popular band for those just getting their technician license. The bands do go on up quite a ways uh, as you get up into the microwave frequencies now, and uh, there you can see what you can do with those. Now, on HF, there's something called the Considerate Operator's Frequency Guide, which is something that you can download and uh, take a good look at. It's designed primarily for HF, but it shows where particular types of activity take place. And it's a relatively reasonable uh, guide to what actually happens on the band, so take a look at this too. Thanks for following along with the videos and the book. After you've studied this section in the manual and are satisfied you understand the questions and their answers, come back here for the next video. The ARRL is the National Association for Amateur Radio, and I urge you to join, even if you don't have your license yet. That way you get QST, the League's monthly magazine full of articles for beginners and veterans alike, or you can choose On the Air a magazine designed specifically for those new to amateur radio. Until we next meet, 73.